All right. Welcome, everyone, to the first part of our new series, um, Red Dead Redemption Online Every Horse. Um, we are starting with the first horse on the list. This is the Gray Kentucky Saddler. Um, so really quickly, its base stats are 3 health, 2 stamina, 3 speed, and 2 acceleration. And that's at level 1 bonding. When you get it to level 4 bonding, it is... 6 speed, 4 acceleration, 6 health, and 5 stamina. So, pretty poor stats when you first get the horse, but I guess becomes pretty average as you increase the bonding. Um, I, I, for these episodes, I want to keep them short. I've you know gotten this horse to max bonding. I've actually ridden this horse a lot more than I planned to ride the other ones because I was planning this series for such a long time that I bought this horse and started riding it as I you know brainstormed the idea and kind of was thinking of it and what I do for the videos. Um, so I, ro I rode this specific horse a ton. So it honestly is kind of sad for me to, to get rid of this horse. Um, but my plan for these episodes, like I said, is to keep them short, but I also kind of want to make it a little bit cinematic. I want to take each of the horses and when I record their video I want to put them in an environment, time of day, and weather conditions that I think fit the horse fairly well. And I think that these conditions right here are perfect for this horse. Um, nighttime on the coast of you know Annisburg and Van Horn, it was a little bit, um, it's a little bit foggy, it's lightly raining. I just think it fits the look of this horse perfectly. Um, the horse is really good looking. Um, I think a lot of these horses get overlooked because of um, they're just the common horses and no one uses these. But I kind of want to show the horse in action a little bit. I'm not going to go, you know, find a predator and sit and, you know, harass a predator for five minutes of the episode. But what I am going to do is I do want to show the horse in combat as I kind of, you know, give my thoughts on the horse. So obviously, like I said, the stats aren't the greatest. It's, um, you know, pretty average all around, but it's not horrible. Um, it is not very good when it comes to predators, um, and maybe as we go, what I'm what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna ride into Annisburg, and I'm actually just gonna do a bounty on this board, um, just so I can at least show it in a little bit of combat. I'm gonna do just the one star bounty, um, so just just so I can show it in some combat, because I feel like if there is something that surprised me about this horse is how well it performs in combat. Um, it's pretty stable in combat, more stable than you know, you would necessarily expect from just a, a basic riding horse. But when it comes to predators, it is extremely, extremely skittish. So I'm just gonna put a waypoint so I can try to meet that person at the intersection. But yeah, so like I mentioned, I rode this horse a lot more than I plan on riding the other ones. Um, because I was, you know, preparing for the series and thinking of ideas, so. It is going to be a little bit of you know a bummer when I have to get rid of this horse, but um, hopefully I can hopefully I can come up here and show you what it is like in combat. Um, its braveness is not horrible. I you know I personally believe I know I discussed in the intro you know the different theories that people have about the braveness of horses and what actually that is, whether it's a placebo effect or if it's an RNG just based on on the horse, um, but. I honestly think it has more to do with the bonding level. I think that level 4 bonding has a lot of mechanics built into the game that affect how a horse acts when it comes to their their bonding level. I think the I think the bonding level is a lot more significant than we than we think it is. So, you know, if I if I get close to a predator and I'm calming the horse consistently, the horse isn't normally going to buck me off. It's only when you get charged or the predator makes a sudden movement then it kind of you know, freaks out and kicks you off. But other than that, it, it it's a good horse. Like it's not, it's not, um, it's not terrible by any means. Something that I am doing with each of the horses, though, is, and I'm not sure if I I remember I mentioned this in the intro video, but I am using the Nacogdoches saddle as well as the hooded stirrups on every single one of the horses. It may not be the specific, you know, blue and and brown saddle that I'm using on the gray Kentucky saddle right now, but it is just gonna be one of the, the Nacogdoches, Nacogdoches saddles, just so that we can, you know, have an even even playing field for all of the 
all the horses. I've I've lost this guy. Oh, he's just going up the road. So when I when I come up on this bounty, I'm just gonna stay on the horse and I'm gonna show what it's like in bonding or not bonding in combat. I'm not gonna feed it any tonics or anything like that because I'm this isn't scripted at all and I'm just gonna see how it does. But. Ooh, I should have changed my ability cards before I started doing this. So he just got hit with the shot. I'm gonna drink a tonic though. Oh crap, where'd the bounty go? Oh. So the handling while you're in combat seems to be okay. It's not like he's wanting to go his own direction. He's not at all. I, I'm completely controlling him. I'm having him go where I want him to. He's not pulling me a certain direction. Alright, the bounty's that guy, so we want to get rid of this guy. Perfect. So, as you can see, like I said, it, it wasn't, you know, trying to pull me in a certain direction as I was fighting those people. It is just, it did just kind of wander off. I don't know if that's because the horse is a little bit agitated, so it just moved a little bit, but... In this lighting, the horse looks so good. Um, I named it Silver Soul. I am going to try to... Like I said, I, I want to have a connection with each of the horses. I want it to be... You know, I want to give each of them a fair chance. So I'm not just going to not name the horse. I, I am going to name every single one of the horses. And I'll try to, you know... Hopefully I can come up with as many names as there are horses. But in this lighting, this horse just looks so incredibly good. So... Let's go turn this bounty in, um, and then I'll kind of give my wrap-up thoughts of of it. Um, what I might even do is I might just ride it back to the stable because I think as soon as I finish this recording, I'm just gonna discard the discard the horse. That, that seems a little sad, but yeah. So overall, um, I like I like I shared it stats. It's its stats aren't good. We you know we we all know that and we all expected that coming into this horse and this series in general is that these horses, the majority of them aren't going to be, you know, meta horses to Red Dead Online. These are going to be horses that nobody uses except for the NPCs, but he took a couple shots. I, you know, you heard him whinny when he took a couple, a couple shots in combat and he didn't, he didn't go down. Um, I did have an experience though, actually just a little bit before I started recording this video, I was, I had a, I was kind of AFK, um, getting my you know setup ready to start recording and i i looked at the screen again and suddenly i was in a different spot than where i had left my character so i know that i was killed um whenever i get killed in this game i usually go try to kill him a couple times just to i don't know just teach him not to kill people for no reason but in one of the instances i was riding this horse at the player that had killed me um and my ability cards that i use um you can see them up there i use like slippery bastard i basically have like a, a double sniper build when it comes to pvp so i'll use the um the carcano and the rolling block rifle anyway that's that's unrelated there's a predator right there should we see oh never mind it's it's one of the people so we did just take another shot again didn't go down anyway my so yeah even this he's not pulling a certain direction i don't think horses really do that when you're in combat regardless i don't think they really freak out and pull a certain direction but he's definitely not but uh, anyway my point with that story was um i was i was riding my horse directly at the player and i had my shotgun out and was trying to get close enough that i could just blast him with my shotgun and then ride off and suddenly my character kind of froze and fell over in front of the horse and I thought I had run into like a rock or something but the horse actually needed to be revived so it, it went down so and I don't think it was injured before that because I only heard him shoot one time so a player when I was riding directly at him was able to take the horse down in one shot so I don't know if it was a, a headshot or you know right in the chest you know in the vitals when you go into dead eye it kind of highlights the red parts of, of where the vitals are I don't know exactly where he shot me but it did go down he did go down in one shot to a to a player so its health is not the greatest its speed is not the greatest its stamina is not the greatest but honestly this the stamina stat is something that i don't think necessarily matters because once when you have the 
Nacogdoche saddle and the hooded stirrups. I could ride from here to um, Tumbleweed, and as long as I was calming the horse occasionally, I would I wouldn't run out of stamina. Surprise! You brought him in breathing. More so I'm not going to give the horse a rating. I you know I don't want that to be what the series is about. Um, honestly, I just I I noticed that these horses. There's a lot of horses in the game that don't get attention, and when you search, um, sorry, I'm just going to remove that waypoint. When you search the gray Kentucky Saddler on YouTube, there's not a single video that comes up specifically about this horse. There's plenty of you know videos about the Kentucky Saddler. You know, people when the game first came out, covering all the different horse breeds. There is an incredible series on YouTube um, by a YouTuber named Daniel Cass or Danielle Cass who does overviews of every single one of the breeds and I think her videos are incredible. Um, they haven't, she hasn't posted anything since creating that series, um, which I think the last video was maybe nine months or a year ago. But yeah, so I, I wanted, you know, I saw a small little niche, I guess, in the YouTube community that I could create a video specifically about every single horse. Um, you know, people, like I said, will cover all the Kentucky Saddlers in a video, but I want to give each one of them a fair chance so I'm just gonna ride I'm just gonna ride back over here it's kind of sad but I'm gonna ride back over here to the Van Horn stable and Hello, discard this horse um, and as I do that I'll just get my final thoughts so stats aren't great it isn't you know I, I, I noticed when I would ride with posse members it wasn't like I was getting left in the dust I you know riding to a bounty or riding on a trader, you know, a trader wagon delivery, I was able to keep up. It's, you know, it's, it's not that noticeable, the difference between the horses. Um, you know, there are horses, there absolutely are horses that are better than others, but it's not as significant as we, as we make it out to be. So stats aren't great. I do think it's an incredibly good looking horse, um, especially in the setting that I had it in where it was, you know, moonlight was out, it was a little rainy. I think it makes the coat look great. I do think it's a it's an amazing looking horse. I don't think it gets enough as credit as it should. When it comes to predators, it's not that great. It will pull you in the opposite direction. It will spin the camera so you can't see. It's it's very skittish around horses, but as long as you are good about calming it, it'll do just fine. Um, and when it comes to combat, it actually surprised me. So. This has been the video about the gray Kentucky Saddler, and I will see you in the next one for the next video with the, um, I believe it's the, the black Kentucky Saddler, I think is all it's called. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you shortly in the next video.